Hey guys, you're London here. My name's Andrew. And I'm Ingrid. And today we're going to be reviewing Parfums de Mali Athalia, Eau de Parfum. Athalia Eau de Parfum is 2016 release and it is floral woody fragrance, which is extremely, tremendously stylish and elegant uh, feminine fragrance with prominent iris note. As for our fragrance notes, we've got top notes of bitter orange and incense. Then we've got mid notes of orange blossom and iris, a lot of iris apparently. Then we've got base notes of musk, vanilla and amber. We have a sample. There we no. go. You're pausing. I'm pausing. Pausing's never good. Because I have Ooh. very, very unexpected mm. fragrance there. And it, it kind of, it's like old fashioned. It's yes. like, 1980s, 1990s so, yeah, fragrance. Older than that, I think. It, it's definitely uh, iris. I know what iris smells like. Yes. And it is powdery, but it's just iris at the moment. And I think me nan used to wear like iris tweed or something. But we're going to give, should I, we give that 10 I minutes, think, darling? Yes, I, I think we must, yes. We will. We're going to come back in 10. So Ingrid, how's that coming along? It's coming along incredibly well. I mean, I keep oh, on that's saying... Oh, dry down nice. It's yeah. in, it, extremely feminine, very old school fragrance. Mm -hmm. It's like nighttime, luxury around you, mm -hmm. you know, um, boudoir type of fragrance. Yeah. Beautiful. It is. It is. I, I wasn't ready for it. We haven't smelt this fragrance. It so took this me is, by surprise. Yeah, it <laughs> is. So, so we probably look a bit um, like not lined up. But I would say for me, certainly iris and powdery, mm. but there is a bitterness to it. I can't tell if it's bitter orange or whatever it is, but it's certainly bitter. It got a little bit of musk. I'm not getting any vanilla or amber personally. Oh, yeah. I might yeah. go, I'm a bit blind to that, but all over, certainly a nighttime classy fragrance. It I is classy say. fragrance. And I don't get any orange blossom, for example. I don't get mm -hmm. any sparkly notes. All I get is like it's deep, deep. It and is deep. deep and powdery, like yeah. a, you know, heavy, musky, mm. Uh, fragrance. But in a good way. It's yes, in a good way. Yes, in a good very way. Nice. It's a very sexy fragrance. When to wear, darling? Obviously, we said evening oh. time, but some seasons? Autumn, winter. Mm, I, I tend would to agree. Think. Yeah, you could creep into spring with it, but it have can. to be chilly, chilly yes. spring morning. Yes, something it's like more that. cold weather, the fragrance. Yeah, certainly it's like a, almost like a, I don't want to say it's like a feel good fragrance because they're usually they're brighter, but it's certainly um, sort of getting me excited about it. I think it's really, really nice. Um, and longevity, what do we read? Uh, seven plus hours, so it's very long lasting yep. and it's got a good uh, sillage as well. And what do you think of the bottle, darling? Oh, Fancy? the bottle The bottle is very evening like. It's it is. in deep black. Color yeah. with a touch of gold, so it's golden cap, uh, cap sorry, and the, and the little tassels. Which they is are really very nice, nice and black feminine. tassels as well. Yes, I didn't actually correlate because I didn't look at the bottle color until we said, but <laughs> it, clearly they're promoting it as an evening fragrance anyway. But I, I yeah. clearly didn't click. Um, overall, love it, hate it, Ingrid. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, 100%. absolutely. We've tested love a few it. of these fragrances apart from Somali. We're probably going to get ourselves in store at some point <laughs> when COVID decides to subside a bit. Well, this fragrance um, is very well the, worth. Uh, getting. Yeah, yeah, certainly worth a visit. Um, hope this review was useful for you guys and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.